suppose that y is inversely proportional to the square of x. Whenever we are told that y is inversely proportional, or y varies inversely, we have inverse variation. Looking at the notes below, if we are told that y varies inversely as x, we use the equation y equals k divided by x, where k is the constant of proportionality. But notice in our case, we're told that y is inversely proportional to the square of x, not just x. And therefore, for this problem, we use the inverse variation equation y equals k divided by the square of x, or x squared. For part a, we're asked to find the constant of proportionality k if y equals 13 when x equals 12. So to find k, we substitute 13 for y and 12 for x. Performing the substitution gives us 13 equals k divided by the square of 12. Well, we know the square of 12 is 144, so we have 13 equals k divided by 144. To solve for k, we multiply both sides by 144. Simplifying on the right side, 144 divided by itself simplifies to one. The right side simplifies to k. On the left side, we have 13 times 144, which is equal to 1,872. So now we know k, the constant of proportionality is 1,872. For part b, using the k from above, write the variation equation in terms of x. Our inverse variation equation is y equals k divided by x squared, but now we know k is 1,872. Therefore, our specific equation for the situation is y equals 1,872 divided by x squared. And finally, for part c, using the k from above, or our inverse variation equation, find y given x is equal to 45. And we're told to round to three decimal places if needed. So to find y when x is 45, we use the inverse variation equation and substitute 45 for x. So beginning with the equation, we have y equals 1,872 divided by x squared. And now we substitute 45 for x, which gives us y equals 1,872 divided by the square of 45. And now let's go back to the calculator. We have 1,872 divided by 45 squared. We're told to round to three decimal places. And notice how there's a four in the fourth decimal place. And therefore, y is approximately 0.924. So now we know y is approximately 0 0.924 given x equals 45. I hope you found this helpful.